Welcome back, fellow history enthusiasts. Today, we embark on a captivating journey through the mind of one of the most enigmatic figures in scientific history, J. Robert Oppenheimer. Join me as we unravel the complex thoughts, motivations, and conflicts that shaped the life of the man known as the father of the atomic bomb. Before we delve into Oppenheimer's mind, let's set the stage. It was the early 20th century, a time of immense scientific advancements, global tensions, and the race to unlock the secrets of the atom. In this landscape, J. Robert Oppenheimer emerged as a brilliant physicist, destined to play a pivotal role in reshaping the world. Oppenheimer's mind was a realm of boundless curiosity and intellect. Born on April 22, 1904, in New York City, he displayed exceptional talent from a young age. His insatiable thirst for knowledge led him to study at renowned institutions like Harvard and the University of Cambridge. Oppenheimer's mind was shaped by the intellectual zeitgeist of the time, heavily influenced by the breakthroughs in quantum mechanics and relativity theory. The ideas of Einstein, Bohr and other luminaries captivated his imagination, laying the foundation for his own groundbreaking contributions to theoretical physics. As Oppenheimer's career flourished, so did the geopolitical landscape. The onset of World War II cast a dark shadow over the world, and the search for a weapon of unprecedented power gained urgency. Oppenheimer's mind was drawn into the moral and ethical dilemmas associated with harnessing atomic energy. Enter the Manhattan Project, the top secret mission that would define Oppenheimer's legacy. As the scientific director, his mind became a crucible of scientific brilliance and moral contemplation. The magnitude of the project weighed heavily on his thoughts as he grappled with the potential consequences of his work. The mind of Oppenheimer was a maelstrom of conflicting emotions. On one hand, he recognized the destructive power of the atomic bomb, famously quoting the Bhagavad Gita. Now I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Yet, on the other hand, he believed that developing the bomb was crucial to deter aggression and maintain world peace. Oppenheimer's thoughts were further entangled in the political web of the time. His association with left-leaning groups during the 1930s and his brief flirtation with communist ideology subjected him to intense scrutiny during the post-war era, ultimately leading to the infamous security clearance hearing in 1954. The mind of Oppenheimer, once heralded as a scientific prodigy, was now scrutinized and questioned. The fallout from the hearing cast a shadow over his career, tarnishing his reputation and limiting his influence on future scientific endeavors. His once vibrant mind was plagued by doubt, regret and a sense of betrayal. Despite the personal and professional challenges he faced, Oppenheimer's mind never ceased its quest for knowledge and understanding. He immersed himself in academia, teaching at the University of California, Berkeley, and championing arms control and disarmament efforts, striving to prevent the very horrors he helped unleash. In the twilight of his life, Oppenheimer's mind found solace in the realms of literature, philosophy, and Eastern mysticism. He explored the poetry of John Donne, the writings of the Upanishads, and the teachings of Hinduism, seeking a deeper understanding of humanity's place in the universe. As we reflect upon the mind of Oppenheimer, we find a complex tapestry of brilliance, ambition, moral quandaries, and the unwavering pursuit of knowledge. His life serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the immense power and responsibility that lie within the minds of scientists and the importance of ethical considerations in scientific endeavors. And that concludes our exploration into the enigmatic mind of J. Robert Oppenheimer. We hope this journey has shed light on the complex thoughts and emotions that shaped the life of this remarkable scientist. Join us next time as we continue to unravel the mysteries of history's greatest minds. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep expanding your mind. No one can predict what vast new continents of knowledge the future of science will discover. But we know that as long as men are free to ask what they will, free to say what they think, free to think what they must, science will never regress, and freedom itself will never be wholly lost. Mm -hmm.